anniversary of Jimmy Doolittle's daring World War II raid on Tokyo. One of the crew members on that mission was Jacob DeShazer. Now, he died last year at the age of 95, but spent most of his life after World War II bringing the gospel to the people of Japan. Quite a turnaround, considering he had once vowed to destroy them. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. Flash, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. The Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor brought America into the war. Its angry citizens wanted a swift retaliation. Less than six months later, a band of B-25 crews called Doolittle's Raiders brought that vengeance, bombing Tokyo and other cities. Jacob DeShazer was a bombardier on one of those planes, and he unleashed his hatred with each bomb he dropped. Oh, I didn't care if every person in Japan got killed at that time. That was a bitterness and a resentment and anger in my heart. The more it got killed, the better, I thought. Sergeant DeShazer didn't know that his destiny was tied to the people he was trying to destroy. His plane ran out of fuel, and he parachuted into the hands of the Japanese. He spent more than three years in a prisoner of war camp, beaten, starved, and tortured. DeShazer was dying of despair, loneliness, and bitterness when he was given a Bible. And I looked down there at the Bible, and there was Romans 10, 9, and it said, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. It just hit me right then. And I know that God touched me and gave me that faith, and that's a gift. And uh, I got that gift of God, and I f sensed the living presence of Jesus. And it, it wasn't just what the Bible said. I knew that Jesus is alive. Even though he was still a prisoner, DeShazer was now free of the hatred that ruled his life. It just seemed like uh, I didn't have any more bitterness or resentment or hatred, and uh, I loved them. You know, I began to feel sorry for them because they were... Uh, losing the war at that time, I could tell. DeShazer was set free in August 1945. Three years later, he returned to Japan as a missionary. It's reported that thousands of Japanese came to Christ during his first year as a missionary. But for DeShazer, no conversion was more miraculous than this man's, Mitsuo Fushida. He's the pilot who led the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Fushida read a tract DeShazer wrote about his conversion. He was so moved that he bought a Bible and asked Jesus to come into his heart. And then later on, he came down to my home, and uh, he said, I want to be a Christian. And so he got baptized. That's the way it happened to Fujita. Together, the once bitter enemies ministered the gospel in Japan, bound together by the love of Jesus Christ. Fushida died in 1976. Now DeShazer will be remembered as a hero who died to himself and loved the enemy for God's glory. God is good, and uh, I just feel like I can't praise him enough.